Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And listen, I've not ever, um, well, I shouldn't say ever, but I have not, as far as from our uh, sources in Washington, ever reported specific shortages on foods and the reasons for those shortages. But uh, I got a phone call the other day uh, followed up by a list of products that were going to be missing from the shelves. And the first thing I was told was baby formula. Uh, also, uh, there's going to be a shortage of antibiotics, especially amoxicillin and uh, augmentin specifically were named. And as a result of that, um, I was sent the list and what the reasons for these shortages would be. So I wanted to be able to share that with you. Um, I do know that uh, other, other than there is a lot of talk, uh, and I've mentioned this before, of the collapse of the magnetosphere coming up, uh, possibly going into this year. I know there's different scientists that believe that that's coming. We're supposed to have a lot more weather-related issues going into this year. Uh, earthquakes, volcanoes, all the above. Of course, we've been reporting that now for a little over a year uptick in these things. And of course, we have had upticks in these things. We have seen the uh, the inline storms throughout the United States topping over 100 miles an hour. And again, just the other day, I heard uh, Paul Bagley just mentioned it on his broadcast with Mike from around the world, another inline storm that topped over 100 mile an hour winds. Uh, so, yeah, we, we've been telling you that. In fact, on that type of thing there, I think almost two years ago, we started reporting those. Had them that same year, those inline storms, uh, two different ones that hit. We were talking about uh, hail could get as large as the size of softballs. Tennessee saw that happen. And, um, oh gosh, uh, the, of course, the earthquakes, the volcanoes erupting, and now we're getting more and more of those starting to kick up. Um, I don't say a whole lot about the asteroids, but that is still a very big concern. Uh, and I know that's still going to be a concern. But again, not planet killers, things like that. But, uh, uh, but I have been told that especially going into next year, all the events that are going to be taking place, because a lot of people get, keep asking me about dates like January 5th, etc., things like that. Um, I remember when I asked the other day about that, I said I, I'm hearing a lot about people asking about January 5th. And I'm sure that's impact type of information. But then I was told, Steve, what day in January is not going to be eventful? Of some kind, somewhere on the planet, everything's always a risk. Um, I did ask so specifically because I know there's people reporting about certain um, asteroids, things like that. And I am always reminded that we do everything we can to, to bump them, nudge them, break them up, whatever the case may be. We're actually using a new type of laser weapon uh, to break up asteroids. Uh, we do have a secret space program that constantly is taking these things out. Uh, the uh, I just posted over on Stephen Benoon, our, our YouTube channel there, the video about the uh, secret spacecraft that was out 900 days in orbit. It was setting up a laser grid in order to detect the smaller asteroids so we can keep trying to bump off more and more of these things. Uh, we've tried nuclear weapons already in space. Yeah, believe it or not, we sure have. <laughs> we've done some pretty wild things out there uh, trying to make it a little safer. So don't always think gloom and doom. Not everything has to end in gloom and doom. But the shortages, though, are of concern. At the bottom of the list, you can see the baby formula, production problem shortages of ingredients. Well, you might want to consider goat milk in that case there. And they also make powdered goat milk that would be easier for making baby formula. Uh, Walmart does carry that. Uh, so if you have a baby and you need to get something like that, please consider that. Plastics, petroleum, gas issues, paper goods, global shortage of pulp. I'm actually going from the bottom up, guys. Citrus fruit, yellow dragon disease spreading in sol solid across the world. Corn, weather and overuse as fuel. Blueberries, weather, maple syrup, weather. Let me go back to the corn issue. Um, especially if you have animals. Please keep that in mind. Uh, and I don't know if it's on here or not, but cat food was one of the things I was told about by phone as well, that they're expecting a major shortage of cat food by the end of the year. Uh, so think about your pets. You know, uh, mainly dry food is what I would recommend. Even though your pets may be used to uh, canned food, things like that. 
if you can get them dry food, listen, when the hot times are hard, they get hungry, believe me, they'll eat. And uh, so we're thinking about our animals here as well. We, we People are always dropping cats off because I live out in the middle of nowhere. They end up abandoning them. So we end up with cats out here more than what we need. Believe me, I know. I got two in here sleeping in the office right now. Um, going on though, potatoes, war and weather, bananas, disease and soil spreading throughout the world, chocolate weather. I'm kind of going up and down right now. Sorry about that. Soybean is a weather issue. Oil, mayonnaise, going back up the list now. Honeybees, bee shortage, wine, weather. Milk, dairy, cow herds are significantly smaller. Labor shortages, transportation problems. Wheat shortage, war in India uh, bans export, keeping it for themselves. Sugar shortage, production is lower than normal, multiple reasons. Avocado shortage, supply chain issues. It's a drug cartel turf battles is what I was told about that one. Um, and speaking of that also, let's see, there was another thing too. What was, oh, maybe I'll come to me anyway. Tomatoes, weather and labor. Peaches, weather, Hershey, Nestle, supply chain issues, chickpeas, weather and war, uh, Serica, weather, Dijon mustard, weather and war, beer and soda. It's a CO2 shortage. A little bit more on this list over here. Uh, baby formula again, of course. Canned goods, global aluminum shortage for uh, to make cans, over-the-counter meds, specifically augmentin and amoxicillin also as far as the prescription types of antibiotics are going to be missing. Bottle uh, water, shortage on supplies to make bottles. Pumpkins, weather soil disease spread across the earth. Juice, small, uh, smaller than apple production thought to cause be caused by weather. Cream cheese, labor package, supply problems. Also, I was told chicken. Um, of course, our chickens, we just use them for the eggs. We don't actually eat our chickens, but, uh, but they are talking about the, the bird flu uh, that's, that's going around already. In fact, the day is two days ago when I got this message, they had started that day beginning to do more mass kill off of animals. So you're going to have all kinds of shortages out there, friends. And uh, so, you know, you, you just basically think about, you know, what you need, especially in the case of baby formula. Like I said, don't forget goat milk is a, is a great alternative. Uh, you know, check with your doctor, though. I mean, I don't want to just recommend something to be something not good for your child, but uh, I know that our daughter, when she was small, she couldn't do baby formula. She always had uh, trouble with her bowels. So her uh, her pediatrician put her on goat milk and said it was the closest thing to mother's milk. So just some thoughts for you to consider there. Uh, at, at any rate there, a lot of things going on. I can't wait to share more with you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Patreon. We got more things coming out. Just haven't had a chance to do it yet. I was actually here at the barn. Uh, this is a, where our office was originally, which we still have the office in the house too there, but I wonder, uh, I was trying to run a Cat5 cable out here to make sure this thing here was working. And um, I, you know, I do have a major problem with my computer. I have been targeted so much this past year. Uh, I've already had two computer, two laptop computers destroyed uh, by the things that they're doing in there. Uh, I've taken them into the repair shops, and even the repairman is like, boy, you got some enemies, sure enough. Uh, and my latest computer that I had was going to have to be replaced, uh, it, they destroyed one hard drive completely on it, and, uh, and even, I mean, I mean, it, it, it's just, it's, it's sad, it's really sad to get targeted so much on every imaginable way you can think of. Uh, so if, if the Lord lays it upon your heart to help us to, to, to cover this, we do need to replace this. I've been nursing it along. They were able to salvage the C drive in it. Uh, my D drive was totally destroyed. Um, and uh, But we're having a lot of problems. It's take, it takes a long time for the thing to power up, gets locked up, froze up, everything you can imagine with it. And... Um, so we need to upgrade. I'm going to go with a less expensive model this time, um, you know, but, uh, but, but they're still pricey, uh, especially when you're dealing with editing software, stuff like that. Um, so, but anyway, like I said, if the Lord lays upon your heart to want to help us with that, we would greatly appreciate it. And uh, you could go to IsraeliNewsLive.org and you can donate right there online. Uh, 
and uh, if it's a little faster for you uh, or uh, right there by clicking online or you can actually just click the link there. There's brother Anthony there. We I didn't know he's on our Oh, that's right We actually he gave us permission to upload the interview that I did with him So if you check out Israeli news org, you can listen to that video there uh, If you go to iConnectFX.com, Let me just click on there for you real quick definitely subscribe and also listen if you're on YouTube watching this Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. And uh, and also, if you are um, uh, not subscribed, please do subscribe. Resubscribe, whatever the case may be. They are doing everything they can to block people that watch um, our news here. Yeah, actually, look at there. We're actually... Uh, already 1500 views there that we put up there with the uh, interview I did there in fact Elizabeth uh, said to me by uh, hands down it was the best interview that, that I have ever done before so I'm like wow that's kind of nice there and brother Anthony what a very precious brother there I, I think his in the description may be his YouTube channel there uh, so let me just check see and it's also translated we actually lost two of our languages Hey, you, you so want to hear Anthony in another us. language? Let's let's put Anthony in French. Let's hear what he sounds like in French. Come on, brother Anthony, how do you sound in French? Merci beaucoup, les gars, d'être venus et de passer votre soirée. Wow, you guys didn't know brother Anthony spoke French, did you? Oh wow, he may even speak Russian. Oh, the Ukrainians will not like that, brother Anthony. Anyway, I just want to have a little fun there. Uh, we lost a couple of languages in our language database there. Normally when we lose a language, it has to do more with uh, the situation with, um, let's see here, uh, with um, not being at least 95% accurate. That's one of the rules that uh, they do here on I, uh, I connect, excuse me, yeah, iConnectFX.com. It's a very nice thing that they do there but kind of hate it when we lose a language there. So we're down to only five languages now, English, Spanish, French, Russian, and Hebrew. Uh, so anyway, we appreciate your support. Please join us over there. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, and thank you for listening.